he's starting these verbal altercations. He will just disrespect me, and then I will go back at him. She verbally abuses us. You're raising children who are going to have to recover from their childhood. You're suing because you said she used $1,500 to get breast augmentation. I get in touch with her family. They're like, she's probably in surgery right now. Hmm. Surgery for what? Well, sir, are, are you or are you not using the product that she purchased? I actually just married an empty alcoholic. And you rushed in it because you were looking for a Band-Aid. Here is today's case. What happens when a husband's secret bachelor pad is uncovered? Is it a sign of a bigger problem? Or is it time to drop the divorce papers? That's today's case on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, our virtual audience is filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Lana from St. Louis, Missouri. Lana, welcome to Divorce Court. As our special guest today, I'm sending you a signed copy of my book, Sis Don't Settle. Your Honor, this is the case of Chong versus Chong. Thank you, Juan. Miss Olita Chong? Yes, Your Honor. You have brought your husband, Thaddeus Chong? Yes, Your Honor. To divorce court today. The two of you have been married for seven years. Yes, Your but Honor. But you said you are ready to get a divorce. Yes, Your Honor. And go your separate ways. But you, sir, believe that this marriage can be saved. Yes, Your Honor. And you're here today to plead your case. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll hear from you first, ma'am. Why don't you give me some background? Well, the reason why I'm here today is because I really feel like divorce is the only option right now. Mm -hmm. Throughout the time that we've been together, I've given him a chance to straighten out the issues that we have, but he's been unsupportive of me financially, emotionally. When I try to move forward in life, it's like he finds a way to sabotage any plans that I have. What do you have to say about that, sir? You know, things haven't been going great, but I'm here today to tell her then I'm here to fight for my marriage and continue on as a good husband. Okay, because according to Ms. Chong, the good husband is the, the operative term here, right? What's y been going on? Your Honor, I basically gave Thaddeus all of my 20s. We got married when I was 21, mm -hmm. and I felt like I can't do that in my 30s. I'm about to be 30 in October, and I don't want to be a 30-year-old still fighting with this man about how to be a husband. I held him down as long as I could. When we first got together, yes, I was going through a tough time. You know, I lost my job, so I ended up, you know, dancing as an option to try to get myself back on track, and that's when I met him. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love with him, and we ended up getting married about six months later mm -hmm. after we met. And he left um, and did some time for about two years. And during that time period, I knew that I couldn't just, you know, be in the clubs like that. So I actually went back to school. I got my degree in business. I got my real estate license. And I started my own business actually selling dancewear to the strippers in the club. Well, good for you. So you got your whole life together. Yes, Your Honor. During that time period. Yes. And you said while he was away for yes. a couple of years, you stayed married. I did. I felt like I had to support him because he gave me so much inspiration when we met. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was my responsibility to do as much as I could to turn things around so when he came home, we could start our life as mm -hmm. husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Tell me something inspirational he told you. He discouraged me from being in the clubs. Mm -hmm. He told me that I was too smart. He told me that he supported me going back to school well, and that financially... Well, Yana. Mm -hmm. When I came home, I was trying to get on my feet, Yana. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to support her, you know, as, as well as myself mm -hmm. at the same time. You know, I, I gave her a lot of support, but without supporting myself. Mm -hmm. You know, and I didn't get that from her I as don't... well. So what starts happening, because the two of you were separated during that two-year time period, you come home, you try to pick up where things left off, Your but you Honor, say things he, went really he bad. He did not support my business. Mm -hmm. He considers support paying bills and doing things that he would have to do anyway. That's support, Yana. I'm talking about things that are extra, things that you wouldn't have to do if you were married. Y Yana, when I came home, it took me three weeks and I got us an apartment. You know, we were doing good. But, you know, after a while, it's like, you know, I'm trying to get myself together as well. You know, I just felt like she wanted too much more. What do you mean It felt like I, I was being, more. you know on always, like she was on me every time. But anything that I was doing, he supported me doing it. So I don't think that it was 
too much to ask you to support the dream that you were selling me. You said that there was a bachelor pad? Yes. He had already told me that he wanted me to go full force in my business. So I felt like the perfect place to do that was in Miami. So he got an apartment by himself while I was in Miami staying with his family. What's wrong with that? You were separated at the time. Yeah, but he didn't tell me about it. I found out about it through one of my clients that I caught him coming out of the club with. So why do you call it a bachelor pad? It sounds like he just got an apartment. Well, I call it a bachelor pad because he was encouraging me to get my own apartment for mm -hmm. us to be together. I would... He said that he was staying with family members, which was the reason why I could not move in with him. Okay. And she then was... the stripper saw a woman in your apartment. What stripper? Your Honor, a stripper was telling her mess, you know, that was messing with somebody that I know, was telling her all types of mess. Yeah, he be having girls in his house, and which was not true. Did you tell her that you were staying with family members, but you got your own place and she found out about it through other yes, people? Yes, I did, Yana. Why did you feel the need to lie about that? Because I felt like, you know, at the time, I'm getting on my feet. I'm trying mm -hmm. to help myself. Of me telling her that, it was just created something. She would have been coming to the house, and then, you know... What's wrong with that? No, there's it, right. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but after you just came from Miami, you know, partying and clubbing, don't try to come mess up my stuff now. I'm chilling, I'm relaxed. You asked me hold to on, come hold on, back... Man. Hold on. You know, I'm relaxed. <laughs> I'm inside my own apartment. You okay. know, I'm so you were, man. So you were there because you needed a quiet place to meditate. Yes, And yes, be, with, be with yourself. I need to get on my feet. Mm -hmm. You know, I was trying to get myself together. I saw comments of one of his exes saying that I'm always going to be around and everything else. And so what do you do when you see this? Like any woman, I got upset about it. I married her. I'm here with her. I didn't marry nobody else. I got pictures of her. Look, love Ooh. you to the moon and back. You are my earth. Why would uh, I be doing all that, Yana? The problem is that's dated May 25th. Today is May 26th, sir. success in business. Yes. But you say you've lost now clients yes. because of this marriage. And that's one of the things that bothered you about yes, this Your relationship. Honor. How have you lost clients? Because all of my clients are strippers and Thaddeus loves to hang out in the strip club. Well, what are you selling? I'm selling dance wear. So a lot of times I'm hanging out at the clubs with the girls, getting orders, doing custom orders. Mm -hmm. And every time people find out that he's my husband, it seems like they don't want to do business with me anymore. Why is that? Because of their relationship with him or whatever history they have with him, they that is a conflict Honor. of interest. They hate us, Your Honor. They're just I, trying to stir the pot in your They division. know we married. They know, everybody knows me. They know I'm married. Mm -hmm. I used to be in the strip they, clubs they with her. They don't know that he's married. Yana, Your Honor. I used to be in the strip clubs with her, Your Honor. So okay. they know us. They know. they know we together. You know, and half of the time they know we were separated, you know, because they don't see us no more together. So they... What other... Why do you say this is affecting your business? I posted a picture of us on my Facebook page and one of my clients left a comment saying, if I were you, girl, I wouldn't be posting this man all willy-nilly. What does that mean? And why do, you, why do you give her so much credibility? Well, Your Honor, I give these people credibility because, like I said, a stripper was able to give me his exact address of where he stayed, and I'm his wife, and I didn't even know. Well, so social media is really playing a, a big role in your decision-making in your marriage, the, these comments. Yes, it is. And one example was when we met, we took a picture, you know, just out clubbing. That was eight years ago. Yes, eight years ago. But I saw the memory pop up. Recently. Recently. When I went to the picture, I saw comments of one of his exes saying that I'm always going to be around and everything else. And I submitted the evidence. Let me see your evidence. He, our husband, you got me feeling like that chick in the color purple, Harpo, who this woman. Who am I? His wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always going to be around. And so what do you do when you see this? I mean, like any woman, I got upset about it. And I addressed him about it. And I'm 
not understanding why people feel comfortable enough to always comment on something that I post with him in it. But that was eight years yeah, ago. The comment was left eight years ago? It was left eight years ago. And you getting upset eight that, years later. But that woman says she's always going to be around, and she's still around. Your Honor, <laughs> I married her. I'm here with her. I didn't marry nobody else. You know, she just married because I married Olita. Well, That's all. But, but you're Harpo. In, in this equation, according believe. to this woman. I guess so. So, is there an issue with this woman still being in your life? No, there's not, Yana. Okay. okay. He's lying. I submitted some evidence, too, Yana. What is your evidence? I got pictures of her. Look, look at, look, look at us. Love Oof. you to the moon and back. You are my earth. Now, why would I be doing all that if I don't want to be with my beautiful wife? Oh my <laughs> why would God. I be doing all that, Yana? The problem is, that's dated May 25th. Today is May 26th, sir. Yes, ma'am. You just posted that yesterday. Right. That was recently. Right. Of course, but we also have other pictures of us up there, you know, relaxing, enjoying ourselves. That was, yeah, but they know we together. They know so I'm you, you got your, you, you got your evidence in just in time, is what you're saying. Right when I was thinking that things were good and we were going to be back together, I get a message saying that he got someone pregnant. Those are fake, Yana. Mm. So she got an ultrasound printer at the house, just printing up ultrasound? Ms. Ms. Anybody Ms. Chong? can do that on Facebook. Ms. Chong, let me tell you something. Wouldn't be the first time this happened. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Let me ask you something because this has been a long time. This is eight years. You actually went to court. Yes. Yeah. And filed for a separation, and you said this happened after you received a text message that you found to be incredibly hurtful. Yes, Your Honor. What happened? When we separated, I was done. I went to the court, and they told me that in order for me to go through with the divorce, that Mr. Chong had to agree. He wasn't agreeing at the time, and he was really making a case for fighting for his marriage again. And right when I was thinking that things were good and we were going to be back together, I get a message saying that he got someone pregnant, the same woman who said she was always going to be around. Referring to him as Harpo. Referring to him as Harpo. And mm. I submitted the evidence of the message that I got. That's an ultrasound, Your Honor. Hmm. And a picture of him laying in the bed with the woman. And, of course, she said, I thought that you should know. Is she pregnant? No, Your Honor. If you look at that, Your Honor, those are fake, Your Honor. So you're a doctor now, Mr. Mr. Chong? You're gonna, you're gonna tell Honor. me what this... Your Honor, we were ultrasound? separated. We were separated Means? at the time. Even if that was true, we were separated at the time. You know, I'm gonna take care of mine, but that's not true, Your Honor. Hmm. I called the clinic. The health clinic said, sir... We don't do ultrasounds. Mm. We send refer people out. So mm. I called the people that they refer to. Mm -hmm. And they said, sir, if you don't see our name on top of that document, that is not us. Mm. So she got an ultrasound printer at the house, just printing up ultrasounds? Ms. Ms. Anybody Ms. Chong? can do that on Facebook. Ms. Chong, let me tell you something. Wouldn't be the first time it's happened. When I was at the DA's office, just so you know, we, we had a case where a woman stole medical records, ultrasounds yes, from the hospital, sent them to her ex-boyfriend and lied and said that she was pregnant. It happens. So I'm not buying it without further proof that he has another woman pregnant. Now, have you had a conversation with her and told, told her to leave you alone, leave the two of you alone? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I even set up an appointment for the girl to go get checked. Mm -hmm. She never showed up. Mm. So after that, I said, yeah, she's really lying. Fake documents. She didn't show up to the thing. That was it after that. Well, I guess the issue is, when you're separated, you had, obviously, a physical relationship with her. One time. One okay. time, Yana. Okay. And I was not... Yana, let's talk about the car somebody bought her. Somebody bought her a BMW. Who bought you a BMW? I submitted it. I submitted it. I had pictures, man. Look. Hmm. Somebody bought her a BMW. Did I know about that? It was another man. Who bought you... Who you think taking them pictures, Yana? It wasn't me. Yana, I was done with him. 
when I got the car, I was moving on. <laughs> okay. So, you have friends that are buying you BMWs? Yeah. I mean... Well, one, and I need those kinds of yeah. friends. I need one, too, Your Honor. But I feel like I did things the proper way, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going back and forth with him, making it seem like we were gonna be together. Mm -hmm. I expressed that I was going Your to Honor. file for a divorce and that mm -hmm. we were done. Mm -hmm. It just so happens that... I met somebody and they wanted me to have a BMW. Yeah. Really? So in that short time period, because you weren't separated that long, you mean to tell me you met someone, they think you are such an amazing friend, they yes. purchased a BMW for you. Yes. yes. Mm. Isn't that something? Yes. And during that time period, you hooked up with an ex... With an ex. ...who has told the world that she's never leaving... Yes, Your Honor. ...your side and now she's harassing your wife. So here's where we are. It's been eight years. You've had some good times. We need to get past this, you And you, yeah. you've had some, some tough times. Yes, ma'am. But really and truly, I understand you want to get past it. You want to get past the past, but you don't. I'm tired of the women. Yeah, I'm we're tired of him together. being out to, at the clubs all the time because at this point, I feel like you're just going to be sneakier. You're just going to find different ways to hide what you're doing now. Are you still wearing your wedding ring? I am. Yes, he is. What about you? No, ma'am. Where, well, where's your ring? You well, said you came here today to save your marriage. Exactly. Wouldn't this be the day to wear yes, the ring? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I have. But you got that diamond on your pinky. Right. <laughs> Mr. Chung? Yes, ma'am. You really want to save your marriage, sir? Yes, I do. That's why we're back here, Yana. We separated. We're back here today. I mean, the ring don't have nothing to do with it. We together every time. Well, I think the point is it's a symbolic gesture right. of how serious you are about wanting to stay married. I'm just asking because whenever I have someone who's come in and there have been issues throughout their relationship, you know, apologies don't matter. The best apology is changed behavior. Exactly. There's no amount of compromise exactly. that can come into play when someone says they're finished and someone says they're done. The issue is you've never really been done. So he doesn't take it seriously when you say you're done because the two of you have been back and forth over the last eight years. Yes, so how do we know it's really done today? It's done because, like I said, I'm about to be 30. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I feel like I can't go on and get to the point where I feel like I'm stuck. Let me cut to the crux of why we're here today. Are you done with the marriage? Are you ready to proceed forward with the divorce? Yes, I'm done. Okay, so that's it. I find that there are grounds for her to move forward with the divorce. It takes two people to want to make it work, sir. You don't have to cling to a mistake just because you spent a long time making it. You said you spent your 20s. You, I, I know it's been a long time for you two, but at some point, when you truly feel like a relationship has not worked out for you, cut your losses. Understand that you tried to make it work, you went through some ups and downs, but when one person stands before me and says, I don't want to move forward, that's it. You have to respect that decision. Good luck to both of you. Thank you, Donna. When it comes to Judge Faith's advice about cutting my losses, she was really just telling me what I needed to hear. It wasn't anything that I wasn't already feeling anyway, so that was just confirmation. I can't continue how we've been. I'm done. No, we'll be gonna, done. We're gonna work you it can, out. You can love me from a distance. Yeah, and you'll be at the club tonight, probably. I'm not gonna be in the club. <laughs> yes, you will. And I'm gonna hear the story from the strippers again. And you're gonna be right with me. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not going. Yes, you will. I'll be somewhere else.